Uh, Dan, uh, that was quite a storm last night. Is it that was. a propeller? Look what it did to this thing. I mean, is that going to be any good? Well, on the other hand, maybe you could use it for landing gear now. Okay, let's get oh. into this story. <laughs> All right, maybe it really is landing gear. This is a part off of the new Breezer ELSA. That's a kit Breezer. We know all about the SLSA fully built Breezers, and we've done video on that before. Now we've got a kit. We want to introduce Mike Z Z Junis. Very good. Zijunis. I think I got it right, but you know what? Don't forget. Don't remember that part. Just remember Mike Z. That's how everybody knows him. Or for you Canadian listeners, Mike Z, I guess. Yeah. Mike, welcome. Uh, this is your new model ELSA, and you're showing it for the first time here at Sun and Punch. That's correct, Dan. We introduced the, the fact that the kit was going to be available at Sebring here this year. We sold the first one already. Uh, we've had a lot of interest in this one here. These arrived Friday before the show. Uh, and basically all we've done here was remove bubble wrap and, and some, some shrink tape and stuff. Uh, this is the way the ELSA kit comes from Germany. Okay, now I see on the, uh, for example, right here on this one uh, piece of uh, what I would call turtle deck material or something, uh, you've got certain rivets that are marked and other places where there are no rivets. What's all that about? That was where the factory said, put this rivets in, They're gonna, the owner's going to put the rest of the rivets in. Okay, so this is part of the owner doing enough work, uh, or, or at least some of the work. And an ELSA, it can be any percentage, you don't have to abide by the 51% It's rule. a cost-saving move, Dan. Okay. You know, if they put all those rivets in, the kit would be more expensive. Sure. So, okay, so what does it save a guy versus the already built airplane? We're talking about a kit here. What can he save? We figure that you can put this together, engine, paint, and avionics, and I'm talking dine on Skyview with an autopilot, radios, and, and a pretty nice package for under 75000 with the owner building this kit. Well, that's a pretty uh, uh, significant amount of savings. How much time does the owner have to put in to achieve that kind of savings? Well, I'll tell you what the factory has estimated about 200 hours, but in looking at the kits, honestly, I think I'd have to be at the Breezer factory and have not built a couple to get it under that. Uh, realistically, I think, I think it'll take four to 600 hours for a person who's got some experience, you know, building or restoring airplanes. And, that, you know, a first-time builder might be longer than that. Okay, now a lot of folks say, well, all right, I'm pretty mechanical. I can do work like this, but, you know, I'd really like to have a little help from somebody that really knows the stuff. Do you offer any assistance like that for them? Yes, we have builder's assist available from nothing but phone calls all the way through to us building the airplane. For the guys we do the 100% builder's assist, we are also throwing in the five hours of transition training, which we actually give everybody who buys the kit, is automatically included five hours of transition training in one of our airplanes. Flight transition training, yeah. you're talking about. Okay. And we have, uh, which the insurance companies are going to want. Sure, you bet. We, But for the guys that do the 100% builder's assist, we're also throwing in a coupon for Rainbow Aviation's 16-hour uh, classes. Really? Just a little, you know, they can just take So that way they can do their own annual condition inspection, work like that. Well say you could fully build it for them, but wait a minute, you're not allowed to do that. Or wait a minute, are you? In the 51% world, you're not allowed to fully build for them. But this is the ELSA world. That's Does that correct. allow you to do that? That's correct, Dan. There's no limit to how much can be built by others. And that's why the requirement for the 16-hour inspection class for the owner to perform his own annual condition inspection. So for the 100% guys, we'll throw in that class. Excellent. So, a builder uh, decides he wants to put a bunch of rivets in, fine. If he really wants to do a lot of work, get to know his airplane in the way you can if you're an experimental amateur built builder, uh, that's great. And if you have those skills and you have the time and you want to save the extra money. But if he says, well, you know what, I'm, run I'm out of time maybe, or I just don't want to do that, or I'm not confident in my own skills, you can do it all for him. That's correct. We're also going to be, we're fortunate, the first kit's been sold here in Florida locally, and we're going to be putting a lot, we're going to be able to have our hands on it a lot during its building. We're Excellent. going to videotape it, and it's all going to be on our website. As, as you know, on our website, we have a service and documentation page. The POH is on there, The off, you know, the uh, all the service bulletins. We're also going to have the builder's manual on there in its entirety. Uh, the only trouble is we've got it translated from German, so we're still working on that. It'll be up <laughs> shortly. Um, but all of the documentation, with the videos we shoot, it, everything you want to know about building a breezer is going to be free on that website. Wow, excellent. So, so a person who is investigating this could go to your website and kind of review what it is and decide, yes, I can, no, I can't, or I need help, or whatever. And where are you going to do the builder's assist? Uh, here at Plant City. Okay, you're operating location. out of Plant City, Florida, just, uh, what? 
12 miles, seven miles, seven miles northwest of here, north, yeah, west northwest of, of here, and at a nice operation and a very LSA friendly field. Okay, so a lot of information available for people, of however they want to approach this. But if they want to look at some of that stuff, where are they going to go find that, Mike? Give me your web address. Okay, visit our website at breezeraircraftusa.com. We're still putting a lot of the information out, but everything, keep checking the website because it changes all the time, as you know, uh, with the different events we do, and now we're adding all the stuff on the kit, and it'll be going in as fast as we get it, and it'll be going out there uh, on the internet. Excellent stuff, and uh, Mike is also one of the gurus. Now he has a new title, Ambassador from the Bahamas, and uh, can also, once you get this airplane built, he can lead you over there to the Bahamas, and you can have a great time, as I did back in December. And do you have any information at all on the Breezer on your site, Dan? Well, nothing on the kit, because that's brand new, but I do have a pilot report on the Breezer, and you can find that at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.